This morning, the race for the White House continues, just not without President Biden. But he spoke to the nation last night on his decision to step out of the 2020 of the 2024 president election. Capital News reporter Valentina Gaspar is in the control center with more on Biden's Oval Office speech. After President Biden's decision to end his re-election campaign Sunday, a nation was waiting for the why. Three days and a negative COVID test later, he says it's time to, quote, pass the torch to a younger generation. And it is up to American voters to protect democracy on election day. It's not about me. It's about you, your families, your futures. President Joe Biden addressing his decision to step away from the 2024 presidential race. So I've decided the best way forward is to pass the torch to a new generation. Biden officially ended his re-election campaign over the weekend amid calls from Democrats to step aside. He now prioritizes for the final months of his term. I'll keep defending our personal freedoms and our civil rights, from the right to vote to the right to choose. His Oval Office speech, time to give the president's voice an opportunity to recover from COVID-19 and deliver the address with vigor, a senior advisor said. Regarding Biden's decision to endorse Vice President Kamala Harris to take his place at the top of the ticket, White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre said the president has no regrets. This is, again, a decision that this president made, uh, and, uh, and I think uh, he is uh, proud to have made that decision. Harris has had a quick start to her presidential bid. There is so much at stake in this moment. There is so much at stake and former President Donald Trump in North Carolina for his first rally since Biden's announcement, wasted no time pivoting his attacks. A vote for Kamala is a vote for four more years of dishonesty, incompetence. But back at the White House, President Biden used one of the most important speeches of his long political career to stress the importance of November's election, even as he leaves the ballot. History is in your hands. The power is in your hands. The idea of America lies in your hands. And the latest coming from Vice President Kamala Harris, her first campaign video titled We Choose Freedom was released this morning. The 75 second video highlights controversial issues, including women's reproductive rights and gun violence prevention. Pictures of Trump's mugshot and his running mate, J.D. Vance, are also seen in that video. Now the clock is ticking fast for Harris to choose her vice presidential nominee, as she has less than four weeks to the start of the Democratic National Convention. In the control center, Valentina Gaspari, News.